Alright, so we got some new functions that have been added. We got the support, supply, and strike. We got access to the database, the intel team, and our boy Chico is in the crew. We got a whole lot of stuff, so let's get everything organized. Now, delivery right here is basically, you, you can put items inside of a cardboard box, and you can send them and receive items if you're online and connected to Xbox Live or PSN, but because I'm not, we're not going to be worried about that too much. Now let's organize our guys that are in the waiting room. We got our boy Chico, we're going to put him in the intel team, he's got the best skills for the intel team, commanders and commandos, we're going to get these three guys in the combat unit, we got a couple of mechanics, and we got some spies. Now early on in the game, there's not going to be a lot of spies, in fact, the few spies that you do get will be pretty low level and that's not a problem because coming up in the chapter 2 missions you will get a lot of guys that are pretty good at the spy so if you get guys that are spies low level spies early on don't even worry about it because you will always get some better level spies later on now we're just trying to get these mechanics and these supply soldiers and these spies in their right units so we can go ahead and have the best team possible. All right, we got two mechanics. Two mechanics. We got analyzer rank two that just got unlocked, so we're gonna have to go and develop that. We got third mechanic, a medic and supply soldier. Third mechanic. We got that medic. And we got the supply soldier. We're gonna get him. Why is he a supply soldier with no skill in the mess hall team? We're gonna have to get rid of him eventually. We also got the database. That's basically the single player stats. And that's versus ops. Alright, so we got another main op right here. That's Pursue the Jungle Train. We're going to track down the nuclear shipment. But we got a whole bunch of other side missions that we need to get done first. So I'm going to do the classified document retrieval mission. Here's a rundown of your mission. This one's perfect for a warm-up. Nice and easy. Don't let yourself get lazy, though. Stick to it and get the job done. Alright, let's get it started. This one doesn't have many briefing files, so we're gonna go straight into the mission prep. We're gonna take our boy Alligator. Actually, we got some new guys. I haven't really been paying attention to my unit, but they don't have any skills, so we're gonna go with our boy Alligator. We're gonna put them smoke grenades on. We're gonna put those grenades on. Actually, I should have been in the R&D, and I should have been developing that new analyzer that I got. I'll do it after this mission. We're gonna get Operation 030, the classified document retrieval mission started. So like I said, in Peace Walker, a lot of the areas will be playable in different missions. We have already been here when we were trying to locate Amanda. My accuracy, man. Terrible, and I got a guy walking right behind me. Now I do know that this is a trophy to blow up this barrel and attack a guy, but we're not gonna do that yet. There's an easier way to get that trophy done, and you won't have Three. to kill him. We're just gonna hold you up, and we're gonna kidnap you. So that's what I like to do. I'm gonna kidnap an SOB. Take a flight, sucker, take a flight. Ooh, that's not good. Don't you radio anybody. Recovery subject confirmed Go to onboard helicopter. My joystick is a little slippery. My aim is terrible. So in this mission, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to collect all these classified documents. Bolton recovery, helicopter some of them are actual complete. specs for items that we haven't developed yet. As you see right there, those are the RPG-2 specs. Give me a second, I gotta kidnap this motherfucker. You're going for a ride, fool. And as you can see, we also got the squares camo. So there's a whole lot of items. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. There's a whole lot of items that can be gotten in this mission. Now we got uh, three out of five items left. That's one, and I think the last two are in this area. This, mm, don't turn around. We're gonna hold you up. Freeze! We're gonna hold you up. Yeah, the last two items are in this area. It's this document and one in this shit right here. I could search him for his goodies, but screw it. <laughs> we'll just kidnap him, send him for a ride. And let's get this mission done. Let's get this mission passed. Head for the recovery zone. We'll pick you up there. 
Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. Alright, just like that, mission 030 is complete. I'll take that S rank. I love that victory music. We leveled up to Mark 22. And we just got a great mission. Alright, so I really do need to get into the R&D team. We got some guys that joined the unit. But I really need to get started on some of this research that I forgot to do the last time I came here. We're going to get that C4, the RPG, the analyzer, and the tortilla chip. The tortilla chips have been in development. Well, not in development, but have been ready for development for a while, and I haven't done that. So, i got to be better about getting my items and my weapons developed, because I do need them. Let's organize these guys and get them into their proper units. And we should be good to start another mission. we got enough... R&D level for another solid magazine. We got nobody else on the brig. All right, we're looking good. We got eight, 12. Yeah, we're looking good. We got some guys. We got some guys, 61 people in our unit. Let's go develop that solid magazine. Oh, we don't have enough for that. That means we got to kidnap some more suckers. We got some work to do. All right, so we did that side mission the classified document retrieval. And we got two other marksmanship challenges. Let's get those started. Commencing training mission. Missions like this are key to building up your basic skills. Be careful out there. Right now, there don't appear to be any enemy soldiers in the area. Relax and concentrate on your target practice. And don't forget to look for targets in the shadows near the crates and forklifts. These are medium-range targets. You may want to consider taking something like an assault rifle with you. But I'll leave that up to you. Use whatever weapon you want to get some practice. Alright, so Miller does have the right idea. You definitely need to take the weapon that you're looking to level up. Now I'm going to try and level up my Mark 22 to get it to level 2 and then eventually to level 3. But you're also going to want a medium-range to long-range weapon for medium to long range targets. You can either use that the sniper rifle or the assault rifle. The sniper rifle takes a little bit longer to lock on and get a steady shot, so I like to use the assault rifle. And the music is bumping. All right, so like I said, get the targets as fast and as accurately as you can. You wanna use the weapon that you're trying to level up for most targets. For me, that's gonna be this Trank Pistol. Now, for other targets that are farther away, this mission really doesn't have too many farther targets. But for farther targets, you're gonna wanna use the Assault Rifle or a Sniper Rifle. Like I said, the Sniper Rifle takes a long time to get a clear shot. It takes a long time for the Sniper Rifle to stop wobbling for you to be able to line up your shot. That's why I like to use the Assault Rifle. If you start developing weapons, you'll get access to better assault rifles. And some assault rifles have red dot scopes on it that you can use to help you get these S ranks on these marksmanship challenge missions. So you can actually save these until you get those red dot assault rifles, but I can get it done right here with the Trank pistol and those assault rifles. Hey, that was great. Can't wait to see what else you can do. Get that S rank. Give me that S rank. I love that music. And we're just rolling through these challenges, man. Alright, so we just did that marksman challenge, and I could have went into the next marksman challenge, but I know we had items that were getting developed. And I just wanted to make sure they were done. And we got enough GMP to start development on a solid magazine. We didn't get any new staff, right? No, we didn't. So let's go on and do that next marksmanship challenge. All right, let's keep it rolling. 006, let's get it done. Commencing training mission. 
Missions like this are key to building up your basic skills. Be careful out there. We've already taken care of the enemy soldiers in there. It should be deserted. All you need to do is focus on hitting those targets. It's geared toward long-range target practice. You should think about bringing something like a sniper rifle. Then again, nothing's stopping you from giving it a shot with a handgun either. It definitely is possible to do it with a handgun, but it's a little bit more difficult. Let's just try to concentrate on getting it done. That music is bumping. Do, 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 do. All right, let's get it done. Get the targets as fast and as accurately as you can. And I don't think I made mention of this in the first marksmanship challenge. But the only way to get an S rank in these marksmanship challenges is if you get only headshots. Let's say I hit this guy and I don't get a headshot, I'm not gonna get the S rank. If you hit one target and you don't hit him in the head, then you will not get an S rank. It only takes you missing one headshot for you to miss that S rank. It's not that big of a deal, but I do want to get the S rank. And like I said before, my controller is bugging out. I'm trying to sit still and it just keeps getting locked. It keeps me moving. So it's taking me a little bit longer to line up these shots. Like Miller said, you can get these missions done with a pistol, but I want to be certain and use this assault rifle for these longer range targets. Now you can sit up here and you can take shots from this roof. You really don't need to jump down, but I'm going to jump down to try and get the headshot on that last target that's all the way over to my right hand side. I should actually, I should jump down for that target, but I got it. And the problem with uh, lining up these headshots, I fucked it up. I fucked it up on that one. I'm not going to get the S rank and I'm not going to do it over. The problem with using an assault rifle is that it's not as accurate. Well, in my opinion, the crosshairs aren't as accurate as the pistol. And like I said, if you miss one target, one headshot on the target, you're not going to get the S rank. Actually, I got a B rank because I just didn't give a damn after missing that first target. So I got a new rank, a new butterfly rank. And we're looking good right here. We kind of fucked up that marksmanship challenge as far as getting that S rank, but... It is what it is. Alright, new RPG has been unlocked. Alligator's parameters have been increased. We didn't get anybody. I don't think we have anything that we need to develop. Now we're looking good. Let's go launch another mission. Alright, the only mission that we have left is a main op. We gotta pursue the jungle train. Snake, according to Chico, the nuclear materials will be loaded from a train and onto a truck at a rail terminal near the eastern foot of Irazu. If we can't cut him off at that terminal, we'll be in a world of hurt. Hurry, Snake. All right. Let's get some briefing files done. Let's talk to Paz about this area. La CIA has taken control of this coffee factory, too. All to produce its drugs. It was famous once for its fine beams. Mm, Café Tal Aroma Encantado. Enchanting aroma, huh? See, si. once we have thrown the mercenaries out of Costa Rica, I know it will make wonderful coffee again. And then you must come and try some snake. Sounds great. I wouldn't mind a cup of joe after all this is over. Oh, wait. What is wrong? No, I just remembered this guy I knew who wasn't big on coffee. English. Get rid of that muddy water and get a cup of black tea down your gob, he'd say. <laughs> that is too bad for him. It is delicious. Talking about that boy, Major Zero. As I said before, building railroads in Costa Rica was a dangerous job. A lot of men died, and sometimes they stopped work altogether. This is one of those places. They had to cut through steep terrain, so when they finally made it through, they just built the rail terminal right there. And that is why they named it... El Cadalzo. The Gallows. Charming. 
I'm surprised the construction money didn't dry up the way things were going. Actually, it did. But the bananas helped complete it. So they say. You mean... the energy the workers got from eating bananas? Well, I suppose they do have plenty of vitamins and... <laughs> no, no, no. I meant the money they got to finish it came from exporting bananas. Oh. But one thing is for certain. The owners of the railroads expanded into the banana trade after construction was completed. That was the start of banana cultivation in Costa Rica. All right, Paz has told us all about the mission. Let's get some briefing from Amanda. Amanda, do you know the way to the rail terminal? Remember the locomotive by the fork in the road before the village? Yeah, back in the jungle. Follow the train tracks from there, and you'll come to the terminal. But there's a plant along the way. Disguised as a coffee factory? Yes. It is their drug refining plant. La Cia controls it now. Cutting through there is the shortest way, but it'll be crawling with soldiers. If you want to go around... No, forget it. If that's the shortest way, that's the way I'll take. Besides, it's one of their bases. It'll be good intel. Very good. A number of guards at the plant are positioned on high walkways. Be sure to study their movements before you advance. Or I could just snipe them first. The plant's layout is another maze, I'm afraid. Stay cool. Make your way out of the plant and you'll arrive at the terminal. You know a lot about this place. What are you saying? I've been there before, when the KGB ran it, yes. But it is not as if I enjoyed it. No, I just meant you know a lot about how the enemy works. I hope so. Anyway, did you talk to Chico about the terminal? He said it's where they transfer the cargo onto trucks. Meaning the facility is of considerable importance to them. Don't get careless. I won't. By the way, I've heard of a shortcut that cuts straight to the coffee factory, to the east of the village. But I've never used it myself. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for the tip. Let's see if Chico has any intel about this mission. The supply staging point is at the eastern foot of Irasu. There's a rail terminal there. They'll probably transfer the nuke from the train onto a truck. Gotcha. I'll have to catch them while they're moving the cargo. But you might run into El Basilisco. Keep your eyes peeled, Snake. An 80-foot tall walking behemoth. The CIA's new weapon? Mm. Could be. Too bad it's not actually a dinosaur. I think... They're testing it up at the base, on top of the mountain. I met a guy in Russia who described it as a Metal Gear linking infantry and artillery. Metal Gear? Hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like maybe it's connected to everything that's happening here somehow. The nukes? You don't think... What else could it be? If it is up there, I'll just have to improvise. Either way, I won't know until I get there. Watch your back, Snake. All right, so the guy he was talking about in Russia was Brannon, if anybody that remembers that. And let's see, our gear is looking pretty good. Uh, let's use that new squares camo that we just unlocked. Just for the sake of mixing things up. And now it's time to pursue the jungle train. The train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. Alright, so the interesting thing about this mission is it always to get starts to the you. Coffee factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road. It always starts you wherever Chico was. We're under attack! Fulton recovery subject Damn. confirmed on board helicopter. Damn! I forgot you were there, dude. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me, bro. You little bastard. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. I kidnapped you though. That's my revenge. Alright, so like Miller said, you gotta backtrack to the fork in the road, but there is an alternate path, and it's the same path that Amanda told us about in the Kodak conversation. I gotta be careful about this dude over here. Let's see if we can Fulton put him to sleep. Subject confirmed on board helicopter. And this is the alternate path that Amanda was telling you about. Now, it's impossible to get over this wall unless you have a love box, and if you remember that Kodak conversation that Miller had, you can get out of the love box and you can climb on top of it, jump over the wall, and then go over to the next area. But doing that makes you skip about three other areas, and we're gonna go into those three other areas. We're gonna head back to the Camino de Lava Junction.
well actually it's only two other areas, the Camino de Lava Junction and Camino de Lava Hillside. There's a coffee factory to the northeast. Beyond that is a train terminal. Let's put this dude to sleep. And let's put the sniper to sleep. Like I said before, the last time we came into this area, if you have the Carl Gustav Wait. rocket, you ain't see nothing. Take a nap. If you come into this area with the Carl Gustav rocket, that guy up there is an S rank in the Intel team, and you can kidnap Take him. Your way to the coffee plantation northeast of here. Now we're gonna head back to Camino de Lava hillside because. You really don't need to come back here. There's absolutely no reason to come back here unless you want some goodies. And I like goodies, so we're gonna hold this sucker up. Snake, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? I tried to seek you see him, and Snake turned around and looked at the camera. What the hell are you doing, big boss? You lunatic. Oh, don't turn. You don't see nothing. Mm. Flip that boy. Alright, so like I said, if you want some goodies, you can come back here to get them. There's some bullets. I'll take them. Why not? Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base. But the most important goodie is this boy that we need to kidnap. Let me get my, uh, let me get my Fulton system and take that boy. Because he's going to be a high rank. I forgot what he is. I should have scanned him to see exactly what he is. But he is a higher rank than a lot of these foot soldiers around here. A lot of these enemy foot soldiers. Patrolman, and it's good to have him on the earliest stages of this game when your unit is very low on people and low on skill. So we're gonna head back to Camino de Lava Junction, and then head over to the new area, and then progress along that way. Everybody should still be asleep, and you're heading back to the fork in the road. This boy is still napping. The guy on top is still napping. I think there's a whole lot more prisoners, so we're gonna leave these guys here. We're not gonna kidnap them. And that's where we just came from on the other side of the train, where Chico was held in those houses. And we made the right turn at the fork in the road, and now we're going to continue on with this mission. At the Cafetel Aroma Encantado. That's the place that Paz was telling us about Who's in the briefing that? file. You ain't seen nothing. Go to sleep. Who is that? The guy that's putting your ass to sleep. You got a little buddy that doesn't see a damn thing? Except a couple of Z's, cause he's napping. I'm gonna leave your little raggedy ass, and I'm gonna kidnap you. Cause you probably got some good skills that I want. That boy's having a good time. Oh, how the hell, how the, how the hell did I miss that one? What the hell was that? My aim is Dookie. We saw that already in the training mission, the marksmanship challenge, the second one. My aim is Dookie. I'm putting you to sleep, baby. He's another one of those guys that you're gonna need to hit with the call Gustav rocket. But he's a he's not a S rank. I think he's a B rank. This one too. You ain't see mm, damn, why did I miss? Someone attacking Nope. Don't radio. Don't radio. Just take a nap. Don't radio anything. Don't radio a damn thing. Don't call your mama. Don't call your funky ass daddy with the club foot. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't call anybody. Alright, we're in the mill. And we got a couple of prisoners in this Pass area as well. Alright, so I wanna do this. I gotta save my suppressor for the next area. So we're gonna try to do this a little bit more sneakily. A little bit more stealthily. These boys be loving them Fulton rides, huh? We got one more dude in this area. We got one more dude in the room behind me. I want to wait till this guy comes a little closer so I can see you see him. I feel like if I go around this damn box, he's going to turn around and he will spot me. I don't want to get alert phase. Another alert phase. <laughs> suck the <laughs> wall, sucker. <laughs> let's go. Alright, let's get these two dudes on top. I'm kind of telegraphing everything that's happened because I played this game so much, but it is what it is. We got two dudes over here, one over here. I don't really need to mess with the second guy. Let's get this dude. <laughs> Let's move on. Actually, yeah, we'll take you. Why not? We gotta move on to the next area. There's a ration under the stairs behind me. 
But I really do not need Ultra that. Recovery subject. There's a whole bunch of balaclava suckers. Let's take them out. Now this is why I wanted to save my suppressor, because we got s five enemies in this area. Looks like we're just in time. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. And I want to take them out stealthily with the trank pistol. Fuck. You don't notice anything. I'm gonna run up on this dude. Cause I'm probably gonna miss. Hey! <laughs> Damn it! You ain't see nothing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! CQC'd his ass at the absolute last second. I'll kidnap you. Uh. Alright, that's all the enemies in this area. That almost went really bad, but we took all these guys out. We took the five guys out. And we just gotta wait for this mission to be done. Woo, that boy almost got me. I saved my suppressor and we got caught like a bitch anyway. Check out the cargo. Nukes. Six four seven seven nine. Gotta remember that license plate. Aw, oh, damn, damn, damn! It's gonna kick off! Snake! Oh, shit! Alright, so the Pursue the Jungle Train mission is complete. We leveled up to rank 2 on our Trank Pistol. We got that alert phase at the beginning. We almost got a second one. But I'll take that A rank. We did that pretty well. We got some prisoners. We got some enemies. We got the M60 specs. We definitely will need that for the tank battle. And the Sonic Eye design.